So this video is going to be somewhat of a follow-up to the video we made earlier today, talking about how there were five members of the 2018 Canadian World Junior Team that were charged by the London police. This video is going to go over some of the statements that were released after that prior video's publication, and a very concerning discussion that we need to be having about the Calgary Flames and their statements made in regards to forward Dylan Dubé. This, right here, is the statement that the Flames released on the 21st. So, a week ago, they said this about Dylan Dubé. He has been granted an indefinite leave of absence from the team while he attends to his mental health. Dylan is under the care of health professionals, and we request that his privacy is respected during this period. Now, when this happened, we said it in the video last week, hey, I thought it was like a pretty okay thing. Sometimes players have to leave, sometimes players are not mentally capable enough to play at their best, so being able to step back and say, hey, I need some support, I need some help, that's admirable. I like that. That's a good thing. We saw Oliver Shillington on the same Calgary Flames team just come back. But with Dylan Dubé, there was a lot more of a stigma surrounding him. Because of the connections people were trying to piece together in regards to that 2018 team. Well, we already know what happened. He was charged earlier today. And the Flames have since released yet another statement on Dylan Dubé about an hour ago. I was at the gym. I wasn't able to talk about this right away. But this is their brand new statement. And it's very, uh, dare I say, alarming to read. Let's go out there and read this on the Calgary Flames website. We have now become aware of the charge of SA that has been laid against Dubé. We take this matter very seriously. Because the matter is now pending legal proceedings, we will have no further comment at this time. We here at the Calgary Flames had no knowledge of pending charges at the time Dylan's request for a leave of absence was granted. And this sentence right here makes it so that, in a way, all the fault for the Calgary Flames is rescinded? But at the same time, there's always the court of public opinion that's going to go out there and share their ideas. Because when it comes to the Calgary Flames, my goodness, none of the people in this organization had any sort of idea that this could have been on the table. Like, I get it, you know? Sometimes players have to take leave of absences, their mental health is important. But for Dylan Dubé and all the things leading up to this, you could very well say that it was kind of in a way, misleading that Dylan Dubé ended up leaving the team under these circumstances only to find himself in this position where he has gotten charged by the London police. Now, there were conversations going around saying, oh, if the Calgary Flames knew that this was going to happen and that he was going to be charged, then it's disgusting that they would disguise this leave of absence for Dubé as a mental health thing, quote unquote. You could also bring up the argument that says, hey, maybe these two things are not exclusive. Like, maybe because of the pressure of whatever charges would be laid upon Dubé, it's fair to say that he would need mental health support. Maybe that's the case. But the optics of this, this entire statement got flamed so hard earlier today once the charges were giving out, because in a way, the Calgary Flames are taking all that goodwill that they had built up with Oliver Shillington and his situation and putting it in the same light as what happened with Dubé. That's, of course, not the direct translation, but in a way, you could see how the optics sort of align here. Because now, Dylan Dubé being put in this investigation makes it so that everything the Calgary Flames said is all of a sudden ridiculed. Furthermore, to the Flames statement, we did have other statements made by the players' lawyers that are involved in the charges here. This was the one we read earlier today. Alex Formanton's lawyer said that he has been charged with the accusation made in 2018. Alex will vigorously defend his innocence and ask that people not rush to judgment without hearing all of the evidence. Now, that's not the only statement we have had from lawyers. We had more from each of the other NHL players. Formanton, of course, is not an NHL player anymore, but this is the statement made by the Carter Hart party via Frank Saravelli on Twitter. We act for Carter Hart and confirm he has been charged with one count of SA. He is innocent and will provide a full response to this false allegation in the proper forum, a court of law. Until then, we have no comment. 
Here's the statement for Dubé. The London Police Service have charged Mr. Dubé with S.A. He will plead not guilty and maintains his innocence. He will defend the allegations in court. We ask that you respect the privacy of Mr. Dubé and that of his family. Here is the next statement made representing Mike McLeod. We can now confirm that more than five and a half years after the initial complaint to the police, the London Police Service has charged Mike McLeod with S.A. McLeod denies any criminal wrongdoing. He will be pleading not guilty and will vigorously defend the case. Isn't it interesting that they used that word? will vigorously defend the case. None of the evidence has been presented, let alone tested in court. We ask that the public respect Mr. McLeod's privacy and his family's privacy. You can very much see the emotion coming through in this statement here. But yeah, that word, vigorously defend, that's the same word that Alex Formanton and his lawyers went out there and said. And then finally, you have yourselves the statement made by Cal Foote and his lawyers. Charged with S.A., he's innocent in the charge and will defend himself against this allegation to clear his name. What is most critical at this time is the presumption of innocence and the right to a fair trial that everyone in Canada is entitled to. So, of course, you know, we're going to go out there and wait for the trial to happen, and we're going to wait to see what the results are. But for now, all of the stuff leading up to this idea with the investigation that was started up a year ago with the leave of absences, with everything boiling down here. We had talked about this in the prior video, but there were many players from that Canadian World Junior team that straight up said their innocence. They said, yeah, I was away. I wasn't here. I was not a part of this. I don't know what's going on. And that is a very big indicator as to where we were heading down in terms of who's in and who's out, because it was almost like, dare I say, a witch hunt, trying to figure out which names were involved and which ones weren't. And of course, like, this was such a terrible crime that had happened, or at least is being alleged that happened. I'm not going to speak in absolutes here, but survivors, man, their stories need to be listened to, which is why this entire thing was taken as seriously as it was, and it's why the public backlash for the Calgary Flames with their statement earlier regarding mental health leave of absences with Dylan Dubé is now being ridiculed as much as it is. They're going out there and saying to the media themselves that they had no idea, they were not aware, and that's kind of the thing. This is the apparent truth based off of what the Calgary Flames are saying. Whether or not you believe them, that's up to you. That's a completely separate idea. But for now, the Calgary Flames and their position in the public eye, I mean, this statement is all they needed to go out there and say in order to pretty much make themselves not responsible. And that sucks. It sucks that that's the way it is, but that's just kind of how these kinds of things go. They admitted and they said, yeah, we didn't know. Sorry. Now, whether or not you believe them, again, that's up to you. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the entire Dolan Dubai statement, as well as the statements given out by the rest of the players' lawyers. This sucks, dude. Sucks that we're talking about a crime like this. It's very, very dehumanizing and terrible stuff. But for now, thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts about everything? I don't want to do the outro because I hope you didn't enjoy this video. And bye.